Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Oirat Oppression. Recent uprising has expired. That's pretty useful. I feel like they could consolidate it into a couple. Garwal, not special interest, has collapsed. Don't care. Special interest, I do care about. God, did you see how much that thing lags? Look at this thing. Like, why is why is that so chunky? Why does it do that? I just don't understand this game. Alright, are you, uh... Trying to come around over to here, maybe? Is that what you're doing? Alright, he's gonna take that back himself. These guys get there on the 16th of May. Ugh. And the supply limit is just so abysmal that it might be tricky to actually protect that. Our guy moved his stuff again. Oh, hey. So, I don't know if this is going to be gold the next time we colonize it or whatever. But you actually do border us now. We could finally make you go away. The thing about this migrating guy, he's not even, like, upping development, you know? Normally, a relationship slot like that would probably be worthwhile because he's gonna spend monarch points upgrading things but he just keeps on migrating around well, that stinks one stability is worth 86 points to me three inflation is worth you know, roughly 105 so the stability is actually cheaper play the gongs Marching around my army in Kashmir. Fairly decent supply there. Just stay there. A beloved heir dies. Well, he has six monarch points, so. Gain a temple. It's a pretty decent air, actually. In the arms of a maid. 344 <laughs> four with a weak claim. Well, as a horde, don't we still... No, we're just a sultanate. Like, I don't think we get the, the free, like, no, uh... What is it called? No Regency Council thing? I think that we're done with that. Still... An 11 point monarch's not bad. Free building, on the other hand. That's interesting. So you're gonna give me a temple even though there's no building slot. Well, at that, I have to see. Yeah. So. It says next building slot is unlocked at development 10. Interesting. So when you get a free building from an event, it doesn't even count? Like, first off, we shouldn't be able to have two buildings in this terrain. Now I kind of, like, have to spend some points to test this out. Let's just do it. I, I, I just want to know. So we'll spend some Diplo points, because they don't matter much. Aha, you liar. Okay. So... It, it is a free building, it will go over the limit if the limit is in place, but you do have to go up to 20 to actually unlock the third slot. Interesting. Worth knowing. <laughs> okay, good job, no guy, getting there first. I don't even think we're going to be able to make it in time to reinforce. We've got to work on sieging some of this stuff down. Got to siege down Nepal. His forts are only here. So yeah. Utsang is aggressively trying to get his stuff back. Good. I'm going to move into... Uh, just move on to that province there.
War leader is Kongra, so as soon as this siege finishes... Um, I should have done something about that pop-up. That was something about unlawful territory, and I'm, I'm positive that none of the characters or countries involved are related to me, or special interest in any way. Positive. Here we have more artillery. We'll keep an army in Congra just to guarantee that nothing changes there. And this one province is so difficult to march through that unfortunately we're just going to have to wait. You're not coming to me. Alright, perhaps we can sue you for peace and then make this guy go away so that we can actually have better supply or something. So, okay, um, Utsang, you have a claim on it at least. So, let's transfer control to Utsang. 22 war score. Current peace offer and your military strength. Your military strength, negative 14. Is your army... Ah. Well, let's see how long you can support it. This army is really imbalanced, though. Alright. Nice breached walls. Timurids, that's not exactly how you're supposed to do it. Oh, not General Talman. Congo have dishonored their alliance. See, that's useful to know. Very tempted to um, Well, I do wanna I wanna get the technology. Cavalry fire plus point five is massive. Yeah. That one's just too good to pass up. There's just so much going on there. Our, our horses have guns now. We must use them. But we need a leader. At some point. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised that the, the lack of forts makes it a lot easier. Unfortunately, this will cost us some, some diplomatic power, but I've kind of gotten over it, you know? Like, in the previous version of the game with base tax instead of development, I never liked using doing any peace deal ever that required diplo points because it was such a huge cost. It was like 50 base diplo points regardless of the size of the province. And now, having it scaled to the development, it's just 3 times development. So 4 times 3 is 12. It's just going to cost us 12, but then not... Why is it not 12? Because of our government, form, and rank. Taking it from 12 down to 10.8, rounded down to 10. Interesting. Anyway, it's not very much, you know? If we were to core this land ourselves, it would cost 40 administrative points. So that's 10 administrative points per development. We're paying slightly less than 3 diplo points per development. Altogether, it's like 13. It's still way less than it used to cost as far as... Uh, Administrative cost. It used to be 20 base tax. Sorry, 20 administrative points per base tax to core. So I, still, I just feel like it's cheap now. So I don't really worry about it much. I would really like to get these cannons there.
Next tick will happen after the re reinforcement. Delhi has stopped raveling us. Hmm. Wonder why. Do we still have them raveled? Yeah. I wonder if they're going to become invalid. Probably. That's unfortunate. Still, water shortage is pretty good siege status progress. So, we'll take it. Come on. Thank you. An end to the severe winter. Still no, huh? Well, Nepal's not going to like what we want either. Hmm. Seems good. Let's do it this way. It's just, it's more overall stuff. Yeah, actually having to pay the full points myself, but... It's fine, because, um... You know... Whether you pay it yourself, whether you pay it when he takes it or you pay it when you take it, either way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just need to revoke the embargo. Actually, I don't even have them embargoed. And yet you are stupidly stubborn. Of course. All because of Dundar. Probably going to need to attack Tibet. Tech 10. To our tech 11. Pretty easy fight again. Still bleeding money. Because I have this really big army. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Ottomans don't want to play nice, they want to be enemies. This will be interesting. You must still have an army somewhere. In order to feel feel this confident. I don't know where you put it, but... Give me the province. and the war. Sixty percent. Four thousand eight hundred and twenty days. It's taken quite a while. And you are just as stubborn. I want to have a general. Nice. Actually, decent. Let's just march down there and give him some reason to stop. Hey, successful. That's a pretty awesome event. <laughs> we'll take more of those. Let's just see if there's an army down here and, I don't know, kill it. Maybe he'll stop being such a little jerk. All I really need to do is get him to just leave the war. 
Wonder, could he actually succeed in this siege anytime soon? It's hills. We have no maneuvers, so we're gonna take a negative two penalty, but much larger army. Bunch of cavalry. And we got tech tech eleven. Alright, are you ready to go away? Because you are what's causing the other guy to have confidence. Let's do some occupied and besieged provinces and force him out of the war. Should probably be doing some more improved relations like Lithuania or somebody. It just takes so long to get over there. Or, not, not to get over there, but to come back. This is all just right now about occupying and besieging. Scaring the crap out of him, basically. Now that he's down to low... Gotta wait 52 days to get a diplomat back. But he might actually offer surrender. Like, offer a white piece. We're over, over the relationship limit. Because of the military access through Delhi. Probably I'm gonna need to rival the Ottomans. That's good though, we got some big enemies. Should make things interesting. We should go fight them. Get a bunch of power projection. Okay, 19 more days we'll do these things. Oh, come on. Why do, why do I get these large revolts? What did I do to deserve this? Well, that one's nearby. It's kind of convenient, I must say. Alright, the game wants to just throw random rebellion at me, I'll just throw random not clicking on the button for a while at the game. Wow, you have a lot of money. Nothing there. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty much just going to put down this final rebellion and then wrap up this video, take a break here. Um, I'm, I don't know. This one, it's just, ugh. Let's just do some quick math. 82436 minus current manpower 25213. We have 57,223 manpower yet to recover. This mission requires 90% of the of the cap. So actually I gotta redo that math. It's not it's not the top number, it's uh, A2436 times 0.9 minus current manpower 25213 divided by manpower recovery rate 754. 64.96 months. So five years of sitting around doing jack nothing. Stupid mission. No. I'd just rather not. Let's 
Get some military access down here. And now that we're at peace, yeah, pretty much the only other person I can choose is the Ottomans. Let's do it. Why not? They have 900% of my navy. Nice work. Poland has internal conflicts. I don't care. Armies are almost in position. It's probably going to rebel really soon. This army has insufficient support. Let's leave behind a couple cav. So that's not the case. Right on time. Nice. Even more manpower that we need. Okay. Well, I feel like I've got a few too many troops over here, but... One more war with Tibet, and Utsang is actually at a pretty good size. And, uh, this guy was the guy that I really wanted to integrate while we can get rid of this relationship slot. He's been in an expensive relationship. How long have you been my vassal anyway? Like, since the very beginning of the game, right? Since 1504. It's been 50 plus years. It's a long time. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.